Good morning! My name is Elizabeth Wang. Today I will be showing you through some moments during my day and why I think I am the best candidate for the all-in bikini prep house. Alright, let's get started! My morning already started with some journaling and vacuum exercises and now we're heading into one of my favorite part of the day, which is breakfast. We will be having some egg whites, egg, <laughs> together with some nice fresh oatmeal with some delicious peanut butter. Let's go through 10 fast facts while I am preparing for this delicious meal. Hit me! I'm 24, blue, surprise! I have my lovely cat. This is Fuse. Hey Fuse. <laughs> coffee. Always coffee. I actually I can't even remember when was the last time I had tea. <laughs> morning. Always morning. I love the morning. Also why one of my favorite meals are breakfast, I guess. I am from the Faroe Islands and you might be thinking The Faroe Islands? Where is that? Let me explain Okay, so do you see that red circle right there on the map? So that is the Faroe Islands <laughs> Alright, I'm just kidding. We're actually so small that we're not even on the map <laughs> Let me zoom in There we have it So we are 18 tiny, tiny islands right in between Iceland and Denmark. We are only 55,000 people. We belong to Denmark, but we have our own government, our own flag, and actually even our own language. Hey, I am Elizabeth, and I am so glad! <laughs> Let me show you! Alright, so... Here we have one of the beautiful places of the Faroe Islands uh, out in the nature. Okay, so I am so sorry about this, guys. The wind was just blowing straight into the microphone and you can't hear a single word of what I'm saying. <laughs> Look at that, just waving around with the arms. So, well, I was just going on a tangent um, about how beautiful the nature is here. So unspoiled and fresh. Ah, beautiful, right? <laughs> so I've been doing some kind of sport for as long as I can uh, remember. Gymnast, volleyball, handball, football and bodybuilding. I started competing in uh, 2016. I earned my pro card in 2021 in Norway. And since then I've been doing three pro shows uh, with the best placing uh, being a third place. So that was the preparation for my breakfast and 10 Fast facts about myself. Now we're heading downstairs for work. All right, I have been working for a while. I've been consuming my pre-workout meal, my pre-workout, and now we're heading to train. Let's go. We are heading into the gym, Inte, and what's cool about this gym specifically is that it's been my home gym for like, I don't know, nine years or something. And I've been working at this gym for eight years now. So it's quite special. <laughs> Let's have a look inside. And there we have it! My everyday motivation.
the last one. Alright guys, that is it for today. I just had my post-workout meal and now the rest of the day will be used uh, in front of my computer, doing work, doing homework. But I want to finish off this uh, vlog <laughs> by going through why I think I am the best candidate for the all-in bikini prep house. For me, it's like two reasons. The first one is that actually I had already planned uh, for year 23 to be the year that I risk everything and go all in uh, for my dream in competing. I have already uh, scheduled my work around it. I'm just, I'm like a free bird. I don't have like a house or anything like holding me back. So when I saw this opportunity to apply for the All In Bikini Prep House, I was like, no way, this is, this would just be the cherry on the top because I have already, like, I'm already planning on how to get my year 23 to uh, work. So this would just be the most amazing opportunity to actually pursue my dream. That's the reason, like, for me. Uh, the other reason is that I feel like I represent like all, every other uh, Scandinavian uh, athletes who have the same dream as I to come to the United States and to compete and uh, live out the dream and I think that it would be really cool to show other Scandinavian athletes how it can be done and that it can be done to make sure that uh, they keep their dream alive. Also, I feel like I would be a good or the best candidate uh, for this with my uh, certification as a personal trainer and a fitness instructor in nutrition uh, and my background in uh, working at the fitness center for several years, eight years, and as a personal trainer and physical coach. Also, I'm pretty extrovert and a very social person, so I feel like whenever there's an event, which I know that Team Elite Physique is very good at holding different events, I would love to be a part of that as well and help wherever I can. Um, so that's how I feel like I could give something for this. So that's the... Actually, it, suddenly there were three reasons. <laughs> What's mostly on my mind is to show other athletes around the world, not from the United States, specifically in Scandinavian, that the uh, dream of going to the United States and to pursue the uh, dream of competing is possible and how this can be done. So, yeah, that's it for today. Thank you for watching and uh, I'll see you next time.